Hey there, if you are a Max user, then today I will talk about something exciting, and that is Aquarius, a new Max plugin for fluid and smoke simulations, so let's dive in and see what it offers. First of all, this plugin was developed at a VFX studio called Magic Picture Software, and this tool can simulate a range of real world materials like fluids, sand, smoke, fire, snow, you name it. Just to be clear, Aquarius is an upgraded version of its predecessor called AQ Measure, and it features a new material point method, or MPM solver for short. On top of the pick and flip solver for liquids and a grid base solver for smoke and fire. This tool is an open VDB based machine and volume editing plugin for Max, which is compatible with particles, objects, and of course VDB objects. And the tool provides optimized access to many open VDB functions such as machine, level set filter, fracture, and tool set sphere functions for rigid body simulations. The interesting thing, as I said, is that it uses the MPM or material point method, which is a numerical technique used to simulate the behaviors of solids, liquids, and gases. It was originally an extension of a similar method known as FLIP, which is an extension of a method called PIC to compute solid dynamics. And unlike mesh-based methods, the MPM does not use meshes. It was categorized as meshless or mesh-free, which helps it avoid high deformation, tangling, and advection errors, and many more drawbacks of mesh-based methods. Generally speaking, Aquarius uses a node-based system and offers GPU acceleration via CUDA, and a single license includes unlimited network fluid simulation, which can be really good for big projects. And the main nodes you can simulate include open VDB control nodes, including particle to level set, object level set, level set to mesh, and more, which are used for rendering more detailed volumetric data. Input nodes like bool, float, and map helper allow for a range of inputs to be incorporated into the simulation. On the other hand, we have grid merge nodes, which include grid array merge, grid array split, and particles merge. On the other hand, we have simulation emitter nodes, which features grid smoke emitter, grid emitter hub, and particle emitter hub to facilitate the emission of various simulation elements. There is also simulation force nodes, and this includes add gravity, add force, add point force, and add turbulence, in addition to others, to simulate different forces within the environment. You can also take advantage of the simulation general nodes like level set cache, pressure solver, kill plane, and kill field to help the general simulation management. And you could also take advantage of the grid simulation nodes, including grid smoke solver, grid advection, grid smoke terminal, and wavelet turbulence. And most importantly, you have the flip simulation nodes. These nodes, such as pick and flip solver, particle advection, in addition to pick or flip terminal, which are used for fluid simulations. The MPM simulation nodes also are included, which are used for simulating materials like snow, sand, and mud, and includes nodes like collision material. Last but not least, we have math nodes, which are a variety of mathematical operations that can be conducted using nodes such as arithmetic, logic, threshold, and more. You can also read about the different features on Magic Picture software website that you can find hopefully in the description. If you are interested in this plugin, Aquarius works with Max 2018 and beyond, and requires an NVIDIA GPU and CUDA toolkit for hardware acceleration. The plugin on the price side, like other Max plugins, is kind of expensive with a perpetual license costing $385 and includes one year of support and maintenance. And for those of you who have purchased AQ Measure 2, I mean in the past year, you can get a free upgrade of Aquarius. On a side note, as I said before, Aquarius is the new version of AQ Measure. Generally speaking, I would like to emphasize the quality of the sand, snow, and mud effects compared to other plugins in Max. In addition to ease of use and the nodes-based system, which takes it up a notch, there is also a free version of this plugin called Aquarius 1.0 Lite. For those who want to test it, or simply for those who can't afford it, the version does not offer hardware acceleration and has a simulation limit of 100 frames. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in this plugin, 
you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.